taking a look at Tia token, we can see that Tia is... I'm not looking at the right one. Here we go. Tia on Binance. Okay, maybe I... Yeah, I'm not looking at the right one. So clearly this coin is... Wow. What a run. Yeah, so clearly this coin has topped out and has nuked. So we can see we're sitting right on top of the 0.5 retracement, which is very rare when something bottoms on there. It's not impossible, but normally it's a 618. So I would have to imagine that $4.75 is in play. Uh, in order for us to avoid that, we have to get back over 820. So that means that even if we bounce here, because the 0.5 is definitely support at 630, uh, in order for us to avoid a capitulation, it's got to get back over $8.30, right? 40 cents. So whether or not we get the bounce, I don't know. Because again, the 0.5 is, it's the 0.5, so it's literally 50-50. I would have to imagine that if it does bounce and it gets stuck at 8.30, it is still bearish. And the next move down would send us to $4. Now, if we're able to avoid that and we actually do get over that price, you can see the downtrend would be in play. And that's where the 382 comes in. And I would argue once you get over 990, which is, you can see from the all-time high down to the bottom, it's the 382 plus the downtrend. Uh, I would say once you get over 990, you should be good to go for a move back to the upside, like potentially for a new high at some point. But uh, quite a lot of work to do. So as long as we're below 830, I would say either sideways or down. And if it doesn't bounce and it just goes down, then 480 would be next. None of this is financial advice.